Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Solitude Underwater, an interesting indie horror game I found on itch.io. Apparently it'll go on Steam later. It is a short horror adventure game where you play as one of two treasure hunting brothers who are searching for a long lost ship filled with a sunken treasure, but everything goes wrong. Original soundtrack, apparently. I'm not sure if these people are well, relatively known, but hey, it's apparently soundtrack is made by a Rosmus Bigergo? Gergo? I'm not sure how to pronounce that name properly, sorry. Lewis, in depth story created by Lewis Badalma, um, Badalement? And voice acting by the very talented Jake Johnson and Lewis Badalement. Badalement? Not sure how to pronounce the names too. I'm horrible with that. I do apologize. But we're gonna get into it the and check it out. The was a three-decker trading ship that made a total of five voyages in the service of the British East India Company. On December 30th, 1718, the insurmountable left Calcutta in order to return home to England. Her cargo consisted of 29 barrels filled with copper coins, 40 chests of silver bullion, 25 chests of gold bullion, and 96 elephant tusks. She would never reach England. On February 15th, 1719, the insurmountable sailed directly into a violent storm. And in that storm, she remained for three miserable days, hopelessly lost. In the middle of the fourth day, the insurmountable capsized and sank to the ocean floor with all of its precious cargo. Of its crew of 112, only 11 men managed to make it to the shores of South Africa. The rest were devoured by ravenous sea creatures. Hey, okay, okay, come on, you After gave them sharks a bad rap. Research, my brother and I have come to believe that the insurmountable may have sunk near a certain South African island. At the time that the insurmountable sank, it was called Ilha de Fera, which is Portuguese for the Island of Wild Creatures. But nowadays, it's known as Dyer Island. Today's date is June 17th, 2023. My brother and I are minutes away from falling asleep in a shabby hotel in Hunsby, South Africa. If all goes well, June 18th, 2023 will be the day that Zane and Dominic Riker finally bring all the insurmountable's long sunken treasures back to the surface and become instant multi-millionaires. <laughs> okay. Interesting dream. Ah, uh, here we go. And I got him. Radio check, radio check. Can you hear me, Dominic? Just have treasure on the edge of your boat? Hey, Dominic, how far away are we from Dyer Island? Right now, Zane, I'd say we're approximately 30 nautical miles east of Dyer. Why? I don't know. It just suddenly occurred to me that a little while ago, I was still able to see Dyer Island as a tiny little speck on the horizon. Now I can't even see that anymore. Whichever way I look... There's nothing but you, me, and the deep blue sea. Well, deep blue ocean, anyway. Mm -hmm. The deep blue ocean and all the thousands of creatures that live in it. Please don't remind me of them. <laughs> Are we almost at our destination? Almost, Zane. Almost. Did I just see a fin? I can finally move. Hmm. Wait. E. Radio. Hey, Dominic. Don't you just love this brisk ocean air? We never had air like this back in Vermont. Days like today really make you glad we quit working as office drones for boring old Mr. Stockwell. Right, Dominic? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, Zane. Every now and then, I actually miss my old life. Mr. Stockwell was always such a nice boss. And do you remember that donut shop that was right next to the office? Apple fritters they served there were the oh, best. Oh, apple fritters. Some I do like apple fritters. Insane. Maybe I should just skip this. Uh, I'm going to hit Z or can't on. anymore. <laughs> just conversation. Uh, I... Oh, Dominic. You can be such a joker sometimes. As if you'd really rather be stuck in a gray little cubicle making $19 an hour when the two of us are about to become multi-millionaires today. I don't know how this exposition's really 
<laughs> necessary, I but... I gotta hand it to you, Zane. You always know just what to say to put my head back where it needs to be. Okay. What are brothers for? Okay, wait, I, I need... Let's let's continue the story. Like, maybe if I do hey, this. Dominic, are we there yet? <laughs> so you just gotta proceed the story. We're there. Uh, what? Okay. Should be directly above what's left of the insurmountable. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go underwater. Zane. Yeah, immediately. Let's start the game. Yes. With especially with this gun. Oh wait. First rule of treasure hunting: always come armed. Too many thieves and rival <sighs> treasure hunters hey. who are thieves. Dominic and I had to learn that the hard way. Okay. To, okay. Don't touch anything. We're just hit ready, e Dominic. on the door Let's to proceed. Do this. Great. I'll help you put your scuba gear on. <laughs> like people are, are looking for the action that much I can understand you know Dominic I still think you miscalculated the coordinates oh my god I'll tell you what Zane you go down there and if you don't find the insurmountable I'll pull you back up and we'll go wherever you want let's just let's just get started please gotta be honest uh, I'm starting to feel a bit nervous I'm I I'm ha I'm forced to have to. Please. Have you found my phone, Dominic? I'm still looking. See if you can find it out there. No. Uh, uh, looking for a phone now. Okay. Not without my phone. Uh, in the shirt. E. Okay. Just, can we get to the phone. game, please? I'm not Wonderful. playing The Sims. This is the most waterproof model of smartphone money can buy. I'm gonna take loads of pictures of all the treasure. Uh, skip. Like, uh, as a YouTuber, I mean, if a person is playing this game without being a content creator, you can play as you want, obviously. But I'm constantly worried about the viewers being bored to death, and myself. I'm not trying to say this to be mean to the developers, but uh, let me get into the game. Quit stalling, Zane. Time to get this show on the road. What? What? what, what I get. Okay, I had to click the okay. barrel. Lower me down. I just, I just want to get in the game, man. I want to. Hey Zane, how's the water down there? I'm just skipping. I, I'm, I'm done with the exposition and dialogue. It's all so big. Hey, little manta ray. Did you just go through the cord? Oh, what a cool looking manta ray. Maybe I should take a picture. Open. You scared him away. Stop! Come back, Mr. Manta Ray. <laughs> oh, have I got the flashlight on? Yes. I probably should fix that before it eats up my battery and I scare up all the marine life down here. Hey Zane, you there? I just got back from my bathroom break and I am hearing a lot of static coming from your end. Okay, I don't care about your bathroom break. I think we just skipped the cutscene of crashing. Uh, skip. Ow. Okay, there we go. Now, if I didn't skip all that, I think they'd be talking for twenty minutes Shit. before we start My because I'm already tank. been. It's busted. Oh, uh, replenish Saiyan's oxygen. Go to the oxygen tank and. Oxygen. Uh, I want to up my price in the tank in front of the cage. I was looking around for it. I didn't know it was at my feet. Okay. Let's get back to the game then. Please. Kindly. Drowned. Is that oh, drown. Oh, there's multiple endings even. Please tell me I'm not going to have to redo the... Okay, thank God. Thank God. Okay. This time. What's that sound? Shit! My oxygen tank! It's busted! Yes. He? Power 10%. Okay. 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 Keep it together, Zane. We've gotta get out of this thing. Uh, the door's completely jammed. I can't get out. Yeah, there's like a rock on top as well. Uh, I mean, just... Wait. What's that over there? Why you stick your what? Oh, that's my laser cutter. I brought that down with me to cut through the shipwreck's walls and debris. Must 
must have fallen out of my pocket in the crash. The po pocket. To push the cage forward, push the back of the cage and hold E. To push the cage towards Lazy, push the back of the cage and hold E. Okay. What? What? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Ha wait, what? But, 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 what? That's just... My brain just broke from... Is he the? pushing the cage? Uh, where should I? No, I just gotta put the oxygen. How is he pushing the cage without it being pushing via the rotation? You know, by like pushing so the wall. Well, I needed oxygen. Okay, that. How do you push something that you, when you're inside of it? Underwater with weight. It just broke my brain to the point I was speechless, being like... Like... It, it breaks the laws of physics or something like that. Just, like you, it makes sense, like, if the cage floor was attached to the ocean floor, but to... Pres to but push the cage while in it? With your feet touching... The object of which you are inside, and you, and it was sliding the cage. That doesn't make any logical sense. It hurts my brain. You can push from within. The only thing that would make sense is push the cage so it goes boom, and then boom. You know, it, it falls on its wall, and then falls on its seat, on its roof, and then falls on the wall, and then falls on the floor of the cube. But pushing it, pushing. How does someone not comprehend how... I don't even... Graf okay. Gravity? Physics? Okay. Um... Reality? Got Logic? I... 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 It... Anyways, let's, let's move on from that. It's... Just, Wait, it... Just, what's that oh, about? it's... That's, that's gonna bug me for a while, though. That's my laser cutter. I brought it's, that down with me to cut through the shipwreck's wall. Especially... Pushing a cage that has, like, how many pounds of rock on top of it? And we're pushing it from the inside? You can only push it on the outside. You, you've got the floor here. It'd be like presuming... Oh, my... I just... Wait, what? What the fuck was that? What? Wonderful. I just need to keep pushing this thing until I can grab the laser cutter. And we got to find out what the whole... Once I'm free, what? I can go explore the... Oh wait, power. Maybe that's why. Not here. I gotta keep it's pushing not... and turn off the flashlight whenever possible. That's that's why I probably died. I knew it. Okay, we might die again because the power on the top left. I didn't know it was power attached. Something's happening here at the cage. Huh? I didn't even see the character saw, but I didn't. What? Anyways, if I hear it. Hear a noise and we know to uh, look a bit. Shit! Wait! What's up with its eyes? What? Huh? Hurry to. Uh, cage by going to the where the side and spam E. What? Oh, it's the scare rattle the cage by going close to the side where the shark is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Okay, a little strange, but, um. I like, went inside of it too. We're gonna probably die again, though. Yeah. What? Is 
You just had to do like that kind of sp mm. oh, a shark. What, what was that? Sp mm. no, no, no. We're gonna definitely die because of lack of power, though. Oh, my eye. Mm. Okay, so. Mm. Oh, no. Oh. What? He's just sitting there, okay. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use the radio. Keep at it, Zane. Just keep at it. Okay. But still, the, the concept of pushing the cage while inside of it is seriously. <laughs> they, they kill me right at that point. Oh, okay. How does the shark get inside the cage magically? Is it just a, a, a ghost shark? There's a, a shark that is biting the cage to get in. Understandable. So what, what, what makes the... What makes a shark able to just go right through it? How, is the, how am I not protected in the cage? It really um, makes me question. Like, if there's a supernatural element to the game, I'd understand. But I was presuming there's some kind of possible Cthulhu-like fucking monster out there. Skip. So, why one shark has trouble getting in, but a non-special, non-ghost shark, unless it is a ghost shark and I don't fucking know, apparently. Um, how one just gets in, I don't get it. Why one is special, but... The other one struggles and bites the cage. I I, I don't really I don't know. I'm also wondering how how were you breathing an oxygen tank that's leaking oxygen? How how does that I how does that work scuba gear wise? Can I need someone who's a scuba a scuba person to answer that for me? Get over. I, how not just. Oh, okay, like, how do you breathe oxygen bubbles like it's a Donkey Kong game? Or like a cartoon game? Or cartoons? How does that work? Second... The second being... Rattling the cage scares the one shark. How does the shark get in the cage? There's so many questions. Like, there's so many things that don't make sense. How does one breathe the oxygen? How does the one shark get in? How do you push a fucking cage from within? And I'm not going to get answers to the, any of those, are, am I? It, it just makes no logical sense, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt my brain. But we're going to have to just, like, move on. Alright, so I made it. Okay, now... Use the final weak point in the cage. Uh, use the radio too? Things are looking really bad for me, man. I... I... I can't wait. Better not get it killed while I'm... Because I can't use the flashlight. Oh my god, you would have killed me by using the fucking radio, you're kidding me. Weak spot though, um... Weak, weak, weak spot? And then... Uh, I don't know what button is to use the gun to, unless it was missed in a tutorial that I had skipped. Um, a weak spot in the cage. Um, get out of here. That's just oxygen. I presume a prompt. A prompt comes up. Is it for that only? What, what am I hitting E on? So the E button lasts there because of uh, shoving the cage when the shark is there, but it says press E when the shark's not there. Um, I legit still don't know what the fuck. Oh, 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 found it. Never mind. Okay. What? 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 Okay. So it's another quick time event thing. A quick time event where you have to hit the prompts like it's dead by daylight. I don't like that. But okay, we have to... 
Maybe press E? I'm holding left click. I have no idea. Am I doing it right? Am I, am I doing it right? I, I don't... I honestly don't know. I mean, there's something happening. Is something happening? Wait, is it the flame bar going slowly down that I had to worry about? You Get out of here. I, uh, the melting is, is happening really fucking slowly. Okay, we have, to, we have to definitely speed this up then. Oh my god. Come on. Like, if I don't flicker the light instantaneously like that, then... And every time they make that sound, it's either there or it's not. This is gonna take a long time, man. There's like, if I I shouldn't run out of power, but it's it's yet to be really rapid with that clicking. Oh yeah, I'll skip ahead until I get the bars done. This is gonna take an unreasonable amount of time. I'm. I've been already playing for 30 minutes total, and I'm still doing these bars. Like, like legitimately, you're a human being, I'd assume of average weight, and you're telling me you can't swim out of this fucking gaping hole. Apparently not. Apparently. Apparently. Apparently, apparently, we can't swim through this giant crack. And we have to slowly, slowly, do this. I, I lost oxygen even though I got it all too. Oh, fuck. I'm, no. I still had a good chunk of oxygen. What the fuck are you talking? How much progress did I lose? It took so fucking long. Where am I? Ow. Well, looks like we're ending it here. <laughs> I'm sorry to the developers, but my fucking god. N no checkpoints for that. I'd have to shove the cage slowly. Do such stupid things. I, I, I mean, just... I don't want to ramp for too long, because it's... I, I, like, I don't know how much of the game I'm gonna miss then, but I'm, I'm fucking done. That, that took so fucking long. To, it's just, there's so much stupid shit. Why am I needing... Everything I'm doing objective-wise is fucking... Goddamn fucking stupid. This ga this gaping hole is meant for a window that sharks can't... Like, big sharks, threatening sharks, can't get through. But a human could easily swim out of. Unless you're just some kind of weird, like, fucking 300-pound scuba diver. Um, so, you're, you you make a game, and you think the first thing to do is unrealistically push a fucking cage from the inside. It'd be like saying... It'd be like basically saying a fucking bird in a cage can sit on the bottom of... It. Let's picture it, it's like a bird... A bird in a cage, whether it's a, a cage that's hanging or a cage that's on the floor. You're trying to tell me that bird can shove a fucking cage forward and that makes sense to you? That's fucking stupid. That that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, besides the one shark being able to not get in and the other one can. Um... So, just shoving the cage is just one completely fucking stupid thing. But the whole objective is to push the cage to get to a welder, or whatever the fuck they called it, to get out of the cage, which you could easily just squeeze out of. So, it's like, to push the cage, which doesn't already make sense, to get to an objective, to do something that also doesn't make any fucking sense. And it takes so fucking long to do it. 
there's just so much unnecessary dialogue. And then when you get to the gameplay, it's just really slow paced and it makes no sense. And it's just, ugh. I'm sorry, but uh, man, I say I'd hate to upload it just because I don't even get to an ending. I mean, we got we got a drowned ending, we got an eaten ending, but I'm gonna have to just do it for the entertainment value of what the fuck am I playing? That doesn't that say the game is shit or doesn't have any uh, promise once things are fixed? But it's just, it, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to be mean. My reactions are plenty fine, and my disbelief in me being frustrated and annoyed is, I'm sure, plenty, because I'm sure I could just go fucking ape shit over it, but that'd be unnecessary. Um, for it to become a decent game, you just would need to make it actually fun. That's, I guess, all I can mostly say. Um, you can keep the story elements and the dialogue all you want. I mean, it's just my own pickiness about the dialogue. That's that's just me. But the gameplay isn't fun, uh, and it is it is gameplay that is completely revolving around nonsensical things. Like you, know, like I can understand. You know, of course, there's games where there's invisible walls, like, and there's knee-high walls that you can't jump over because you, they, the game developers made a map and they don't want you going outside of the you know the outside of the map where they don't want you going. Understandable, but in a game like this, telling you to do something like weld yourself out of the cage when there's a gaping window out of the cage you can blatantly swim out of. It's like, is the game supposed to be portrayed as realistic? A realistic survival? Or is it meant to be some kind of weird fucking shit where just like it doesn't make any sense because again, no nothing made sense. I don't know, I say that this is about, I'm just, my brain is hurting. I'm sorry, developers, but I, just make it maybe, like, scrap the gameplay. I don't know what kind of gameplay happens after the cage if it doesn't end, but just, it needs to be fun. That's all I can say. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed my, me being frustrated and in dis disbelief nothing really happens unfortunately but if you enjoyed or just if you enjoyed please hit the like button if you didn't enjoy you can hit a dislike button but hey please leave a like comment hit the subscribe button become a flow subscriber and the notification down below for updates of my videos thank you for watching and until the next time Arrgh.